Hey there, I'm Laura Newell, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a more in-depth update of how we are liking um, Happy Cheetah reading system and how it's working for us and just how the system works in general. Last spring, we got the entire Happy Cheetah reading system and I did an overview unboxing here. And then I also did a little bit of a 30 day update, our first 30 days using it, how it went. But now we've been using it for quite a while and we have gone through the prep workbook and level one and we are now in level two. I had originally wanted to get through prep level one, which is handwriting and early reading in 30 days. It took us longer than that, but, but it was pretty simple. It just went through the uppercase and lowercase letters. You had these pages where they did copy work. Um, we had, you did air writing, dry erase, and then uh, writing on the pages. There were little activities. It was pretty simple and we did maybe 15-ish minutes a day, sometimes up to 20 minutes, but it's basically just about muscle memory and then just being familiar with letters and sounds. There were some sentence copywriting that it got into, and then it started doing letter boxes, which continue through the rest of the curriculum. A little bit more phonics-y things as you get further into the book. But this is it. This is all the instructor, you know, information you have. You don't have another instructor book. There's not long lessons. One of the things with um, all about reading that we did not like was that the lessons were so long. That there was just so much. It, it lost her interest and it just, it was not a good fit. These are very short and concise. And even when we did more than one page, it wasn't that bad. Like it was just, she knew what to expect and it, it went very smoothly. <laughs> Each of these pages back here does focus on a vowel sound, like short or long vowels. And so that is kind of your phonetic awareness. Again, you're not like sitting down and teaching them phonics, but they're kind of just learning it through practice and through exposure. So that is what is in the handwriting and early reading book. Then we moved on to level one, which is a nice thick one and it had three readers. So it had these readers that came with it and the readers were very simple. It would have just pictures and your text. Now, this is how they kind of learn. There's a lot of repetition. And yes, in the book, they do kind of memorize or they see the picture and they're like, oh, this is what that word is. But that's how their memory and their brain makes connections. And then you go into the workbook and you start practicing it in different contexts. So then you start reading the story here and there's no pictures that identify it. So yeah, they might be able to remember it by memory. if They were really good memory, uh, but more or less, they're gonna struggle a little bit more as they're reading this. And then they're going to be doing copy work that uses the sentences from the story. And then they're gonna have review pages where they have the individual words and, and they're gonna have to read and identify these and you can help them and they're, it's just, you can go slow and repeat and repeat until they really start remembering this. In level one, your instruction is right here. So basically the child is going to read a certain amount of stories. It starts with one, but then it moves up to three or four different stories. And then they're gonna work with their magnetic letters. So you're gonna pull out your magnetic board and you as the teacher are going to set up the words in the word list. And there on the word list, they're going to practice reading each of the words. There's usually um, between five and six words there, and they're going to all be kind of similar in sound, kind of rhyming words so that they gain that association. And then the last thing is a game. So they have these different word cards and they have sample games in the back. So sometimes you'd put together silly sentences or um, go through and see if they can recognize all the words. So again, completely out of context. There's no pictures. They're just looking at these going, 
do I recognize that word? Do I know what that word is? And it's hard. It's really hard and it really challenged my daughter. But the way this curriculum works is that they have so many different multi-sensory exposures that over time they're going to learn to recognize this. Then they have more practices. They have they're learning to notice the differences between capitals and lowercase. They're looking to find out that, yeah, we start names and sentences with capitals and not, and we don't have capitals in the middle of a sentence or the end or at the middle of a word or the end of the word. They're looking for what looks right, what looks wrong, um, recognizing with, that they're the same thing, even if there's a capital or not a capital. Just a lot of very really important grammar and writing concepts they don't even realize they're learning it because you're not like teaching them and telling them well this is the way you do it they're just practicing it in these little exercises bit by bit and they just start getting it and it's amazing it's absolutely amazing I have been shocked um sometimes when I have my daughter do it and I'm like how did you know that like because she's just absorbed this information over time so the letterbox pages are an introduction to spelling. So this is the same letterboxes that they have in Spelling UC. And basically you're gonna read the word down here and they're gonna listen to it and they're going to sound it out as they write each letter. So again, you're learning that phonetic awareness and that decoding skills without them knowing it, without them fighting me like, we're taking a spelling test today. Like they have no concept of that. It's fun, it's easy, it's, it's not, stressful. It's none of that. It takes the pressure off, which allows the brain to actually learn things. And again, I've been amazed at the words that she's been able to spell just by sounding it out without that pressure of, Oh, I have to, I have to do this perfectly. Um, and so there's a huge benefit to that. They have fun, creative pages where they can draw a picture and tell you a story and you write down the story for them. A little bit later in the book, this is what I was talking about. They have um, two sentences and you as the teacher read them aloud and say, okay, which one sounds right? There's usually um, an S, a plural in there uh, somewhere that's not right in one of the sentences and they have to figure it out. Um, sometimes one of the words is, is not exactly the right word. Um, and then down here, it's what looks right. So they usually have something that's capitalized or not capitalized correctly in there. And so they're looking to see if they can find that. There's also um, the identification of the vowels. So they underline A, E, I, O, U. And then they um, sometimes they're picking words that rhyme. Sometimes they're picking words that uh, go together or don't go together. At the end of the book, there's this like spelling review where they're looking at some of the vocabulary words and they're just copying them and they're writing them so that their brain is getting that repetition again. So they go through all three of these little readers in this book. And so by the end, it pretty significantly from just short sentences to a bit longer sentences with adjectives in there and everything. So they're, they're really learning to recognize words. Some of these are sight words. Some of them are ones they can sound out. It's a little bit of both. And so you definitely help them a lot, but that's, that's how they learn. So we've moved on to level two. Level two is a little bit smaller and it only has two readers with it. So it's very similar to the end of level one where you have your reading. Again, they're reading the stories every day. You have your magnetic letters that they have you put out. Um, they're, aren't any games in this one so there's no game cards with level two but then it moves on to them reading the story here and then like i said there was the the choosing the sentence that sounds right which word doesn't belong mark the vowels and which sentence looks right and your copy work and then it has the letterbox page and it kind of goes through that pattern and every um, few lessons, then there's the review where they're looking at the words out of completely out of context here. And then they can do a creative story. They're reading multiple times. They're reading the story so many times in here um, that they're getting a lot of that review.
Level two does go into four letter words instead of three letter words like level one. And the stories are getting longer. There are longer sentences that make a little bit more like paragraphs and just bigger words uh, that they have to learn. So we are going to finish level two for second grade. And then for third grade, we're going to do level three and level four which are quite hunky <laughs> and have a whole bunch of books and a whole lot more similar patterns for the lessons, but just a lot more words. Happy Cheetah, of course, comes with lots of tools. So they have like the ABCD bookmarks. I try to keep these in one of my daughter's books because she really struggles with B and D. And when they can see them in this order, it's much more uh, easy for their brain to identify which one is which. So for us personally, I have watched my daughter go from really struggling with anything learning to read to being able to read these sentences and figure out these words. And even though it, sometimes she struggles seeing them out of context, over time, I have really seen it work. I have seen it be successful. And now a lot of times we can pull some of those beginning reader books from the library or um, we have like the Usborne collection and she can figure it out. And so I, I do think that this is working really well. I'm seeing great improvement and um, she's starting to write words on her own, which is amazing. And I am really looking forward to how she's going to progress through the next levels. So that is our update on how Happy Cheetah has been working for us. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.